Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm so excited. After like, I think like it's been like two months for me, maybe like maybe just the one, but I have finally got hold of one of the pre-orders that I have been expecting for what seems like ages. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And in true Hobby Ultra fashion, they have of course, <laughs> created the box but look how chongous this is this is literally only just arrived and um, I was kind of contemplating um, whether to do this now or not purely because I have got Disneyland tomorrow and I was like I want to try and get this out as soon as possible because the amount of videos that I've had planned for you guys and I just haven't been able to do them because the figures have been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and um, so yeah I've made a bit of a sacrifice I've got a night shift tonight so I've gotten up early <laughs> So I can unbox this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start opening this up. Um, this is a Good Smile Company figure, and it's arguably probably one of the most ultimate anime waifus, I would say. Um, I think a lot of people hyped this character up when the series came out. But um, let's get this packaging out. As you can tell by the um, description and the video title, this is 02 from Darling in the Franks for my darling um, figure. And it's actually a bridal um, design. I have already got two bridal figures and it is of Rem and Shera and I absolutely adore them I really really love them I was gonna have zero two sat next to them but looking at the size of the box as I said I don't know if it's going to fit but um, we're gonna go ahead and open it anyway um, as you can tell everything's very very well packaged up oh wow okay right okay so I'm gonna give you a quick show of the box I will probably put some b-roll footage of this over while I'm talking because I'm not too sure if um, me just kind of showing you like like from here is going to be the best way of displaying this to you but the box is a non-window box package and it's got like an iridescent film across it it really is beautiful to be honest I really like this one um, but as you can see it has just got um, the product display right across and then obviously all the details here um, it is a 1 7 scale and it is obviously pre-painted if I ever had to paint figures I think I would probably hyperventilate to be honest I probably would be the best at it um, and here we have literally just got the I don't know you're not really going to be able to see it to be honest but there's like a little seal here at the bottom of the box um, just to prove her authenticity um, she looks amazing but I've got to figure out how to open this <laughs> okay so um, it has just got like a little seal at the top here <sighs> oh wow guys like okay um, I will show you um, properly but as you open it <sighs> Got the beautiful artwork of the figure itself that the design actually like um was based upon oh it's really pretty and it opens up literally like this <laughs> but let's get the figure out so i can show you guys what she looks like inside the blister pack holy heck after my last like big scale figure like um being a bit of a letdown like i'm really really like chuffed with this one and i haven't even got our completely out yet but um this is obviously what it looks like from behind Everything is really, really well secured in here. Like it's got um, two layers, I would say. Yeah, two tiers. Um, one actually holding the figure together and then in the back it looks like it's got it's her veil and her spear. Um, oh my goodness, okay, so let's get this. properly opened. Um, 
as I had obviously mentioned earlier, I did get this from Hobby Ultra. She cost me £280. Um, but obviously, as I've mentioned in plenty of my videos before, um, Hobby Ultra does give you the option of being able to play through Klarna and they do also offer a deposit option. So you can literally just pay it in three lots of... No, two lots of three, sorry. Um, and that's how I typically tend to afford my figures. But, um... Oh damn, okay, right. I'm gonna be back because I've just realized there is wire fastenings and I'm gonna to have to like untangle all those to actually show you the figures. So bear with me two seconds. Okay, so I've just gotten everything out of the blister packaging. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it took me like an embarrassingly amount of time to um, like unscrew all of the wiring. But, oh my goodness guys, like I haven't taken her out of all the plastic yet because I want to show you what she comes like when she's first, like obviously is out of the packet. Um, as you can see, it is super well looked after you don't have anything to worry about with um obviously anything getting wrecked in transit um she is so like I, like intricate i think it's probably going to be the best term to use um i'm just going to start taking this off so you can see um like the flowers and things in her hair are stunning like really really beautiful um let's get all this plastic off here um i just hope like Oh, okay, now you can behead her. Like, okay, so when you're taking off the plastic um, around her neck, her head does just like pop off, <laughs> like so. Um, so you can just take off all the um, excess material. And then just get all these bits off here. beautiful she is like her hair like they have made up for the black croc suit figure a hundred percent why couldn't have they made it up to like this quality it's gorgeous like literally even like the um i don't know if you can see like the um wrinkles in her gloves and things but she's super gorgeous okay so i don't see like any paint work issues whatsoever with this. The quality is gorgeous. Like I, I'm not gonna be able to show you like under her dress because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get like, be able to, but can you see like, it's literally got like a little ribbon like attached to the back of her gown. I'm super excited to put her all together. Um, I will just show you the other pieces that she came with. So you, you can obviously have a look. Um, her veil comes in a completely separate piece, um, which you can obviously attach by the, uh, sort of like a gap in the back of the head that you just slot the um, piece into. But as you can see, it's like a transparent. And it's just got these like little taggies at the bottom. Um, oh my goodness, okay, so we're gonna pop that on her in a second. And then finally, the last little piece that it comes with, aside from that little stand, that you support her with, because she is quite a heavy figure to be fair, is the spear with the bouquet. It's super, super gorgeous. Um, I think I might need to read the instructions just to make sure that I don't wreck her. I don't want this to snap when I'm trying to put it into her hand. But um, that's the last bit and the base. It's like a raised platform and it's got obviously the um, logo on the side either side here and it's steep it's like a stoop but i do like this space okay guys so i've just put her all together and honestly um looking at a lot of the other zero two figures and i do really like the zero two figures a lot um i think if you're going to invest in one as a collector this probably has to be the nicest one in my opinion. Um, obviously I do also like the, um, I think it's like a, the schoolgirl version and she's on like the um, machinery. But um, yeah, this one blows out of the water. 
Um, she is incredibly beautiful. I'm gonna be like very careful showing you this and I will put some B-roll footage up as I always do. But how stunning. I'm gonna give you like a 360. So this is the back of the figure. Really, really beautiful. And then as you turn her, Honestly, and her stockings are beautiful. The detailing is on completely other level. Um, I actually preferred this one to my um, Shera and Rem purely because of the amount of detail that they've gone into with the dress and the different gradients they've used. Um, like I love how the veil is transparent and I really, really like how they've gone for a more like metallic -y, ivory look on the skirt. I just, I think it's incredible. It's a really, really lovely figure. And if you can afford to get something like this for your collection, and especially if you're a Zero Two fan, I would recommend. Um, I would say that when you're getting her out of the box, be very careful of her horns. They look very, very fragile. Um, as you can probably see here, like, it's just so intricate. It's a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Um, I find that a lot of the Zero Two figures, I'm not a massive fan of the face on them but the paintwork that they've gone to on this is is like I just love it it's gorgeous um everything sits together really nicely it wasn't a pain to put together whatsoever I was a little bit um, anxious about putting in her veil because you do need to give it a little bit of pressure when just to slot it in properly but honestly like I think this is probably like a good nine out of ten on the figure rating for me um I can't wait <laughs> for the other figures that I've got to come to see if they like they're like to the same level as this because honestly like I have um the Nico Para um Chinese dress set I think it's called coming and that was meant to be here last month and, and again it's another one of um the figures that I've been pushed back but I got chocolate and vanilla and I'm hoping that like it replicates this sort of quality um rather than the black rock that i'm still quite salty about um but honestly guys i love it she's really really cute um let me know what you think of zero two in the comments below because i'm really curious to know what you guys think um she's stunning like she's really really beautiful but um i'm gonna leave it there um before i go i just want to say thank you so so much to everybody that has supported the channel so far i think i've just reached 600 um upon making this video which is insane um so thank you so so much um if you do enjoy this content and you haven't subscribed please feel free to um it's wicked to obviously see the channel grow and i love hearing from you guys you guys know i really enjoy speaking to you i do try my best to get back to every single comment um even if like <laughs> even if it's like a couple of days late i'm really sorry um at the moment i've just gotten back to uni i've got work full time so it is a little bit of a um a rush i guess um but thank you so much if you have enjoyed this video please like it, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, bye-bye.